Hey guys, and welcome to Little League Sports. Today on the show, we're talking about one at one point in time Canada's national sport, but it, we're talking cricket and we're talking about the popularity and how it is growing, as well as Applewood hockey in their 25th season and their anniversary coming up. But stay locked in. There's lots more coming up on Little League Sports. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to Little League Sports. Super pumped to talk about cricket here. It is a fast and growing popular sport here in the Peel region. And our guest, we've got super excited too. We've got an under-19 player going on to the World Cup of Cricket. So welcome to the show, Aniket Joshi, as well as Martin Buckle. Guys, it's such a pleasure to have you here. Now, Thank before you. the show, we were talking a little bit about cricket. And I don't know a ton about it. I played it in grade 7 with my science teacher. So I want just the, the quick overview. So, Martin, do you want to give us the quick overview on the sport of cricket? Sure. The Basics are pretty similar to baseball. You have two teams. One team is in to bat, the other team is fielding. And uh, there are 11 players on each side. And basically, the fielding team has to get the batters out. Okay. So I love it. So cricket is sort of the, the grandfather to baseball, would you say? I guess they have very similar origins. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Etiquette, let's talk a, a little bit about you. You're, uh, you're a North Peel Secondary School North student. Park. North Park. Yeah. North Park Secondary School student in Brampton. Yep. And uh, you've made it to the under-19 team, and you yep. are going to a very big game. Yeah. <laughs> so, so let's talk about your role as a cricket player, especially uh, in high school. Right. So um, I'm, I go to North Park, and uh, I'm the opening batsman for um, the Canadian under-19 team. So we recently qualified for our under-19 World Cup, and we will be going to, the, going to Dubai for the under-19 World Cup. So there we will be competing between, um, for the World Cup, we'll be competing with um, Zimbabwe, West Indies, and South Africa in our pool. And there's three other pools with four other teams. So Tell me your toughest t competition in that pool. Um, our toughest competition, I think, would be South Africa. Okay. So, cause where, where have they fared in compared to, uh, to other World Cups? Um, Do they usually take home the title? They, have, they compete very strong for it, and they have good chances of taking it. Recently, they haven't been able to, but... Overall, if you look at uh, South Africa right now, they're a really strong nation, and they just um, they were they're having a good season right now as well. So I think overall, South Africa, they're really going to put up a fight. For a us, good so fight. Yeah. Now, Martin, let's talk about uh, Peel region as a whole going on uh, to the World Cup. We've got because Aniket's not our only player that's that's making it that No, we it have two far. other players from uh, from the Peel region who are going to the under 19s. And we have two players who are on the senior squad also from the Peel region. Yeah. So Peel has a very strong history, and it's uh, really at the core of all the Canadian cricket teams. Right. So the cricket that Aniket's playing in school is, uh, is sort of in the gym, so it's not true yeah. cricket whatsoever. So uh, what are we doing to make sure that cricket is going outside to where it should be played? Well, the organization I represent, uh, SEMA Canada, we organized last year a GTA tournament outdoors. So a lot of kids have been playing indoors. So this time we made sure that there's an opportunity in the summer to play outside. And to give it a little bit of uh, you know, extra importance, the GTA teams end up playing a final between, in your case, uh, Brampton and Mississauga. And Brampton won. So Brampton's got home court advantage. So <laughs> this year we'll be playing the final in Brampton. Uh, that will be the first week in June. And we'll have teams from, again, all over the GTA competing to be the GTA champions of cricket. So is it easy to get involved in cricket? Do you, like, do you have to be part of your high school team, or is there an organization that you can... We're trying to make it easier. In the fall, we trained up 80 teachers, 8-0, wow. in just the Peel region. We got funding from Trillium and CIBC to put on a, a training program so that these teachers can become coaches to the kids in their school. There's also private clubs. If you don't have a school uh, cricket team, there are private clubs. But we hope by betting it into the schools in Roxa that we'll have a really strong future for cricket. In so field. that's the, the ground base. So build yeah. it, build it from the bottom up. Yeah. Are you? So you play for your school team and a club team as well, yes. and yeah. the the Canadian team. Right. So let me do the math. Do you think you're playing cricket seven days a week? <laughs> most, most time, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So do you see a lot of dedication like Aniket's when it comes to cricket? Yeah, there's no doubt that for, for someone to get good enough to be in the national team, it's not just luck. 
it's, uh, there's a lot of competition. We have, obviously, in the GTA, thousands of uh, kids who are playing. So for someone to get into the under-19 squad really is quite an achievement. A lot of dedication. Well, we're going to hold Martin and Anakat here, and we're going to talk a little bit more about cricket and how you can get involved in your community. So stay tuned. Lots more coming up on Little League Sports. Welcome back to Little League Sports, and we are talking about the fabulous world of cricket and our guests here, Anna Kesh, as well as Martin. Thanks so much, guys, for continuing our chat. Now, we were talking a little bit about the, uh, the huge commitment that our teachers have made, which kudos to them. Eighty teachers in the Peel region alone have signed up to learn more about cricket and be able to teach it throughout the schools, yep. which is huge for your event that's taking place. You've got a, a big competition, which Anna was part of, yep. and we just want to promote it and make sure that people are out there. And our deadline for teams are when? Well, that's it. In uh, February, in, uh, sorry, in April, we'll be launching the schools tournament. We'll have a big event with some of the mayors from the area. And, and Annika. Uh, and Annika <laughs> and Rogers, because yeah. Rogers is always very good at supporting uh, cricket in the area. And we will launch that in April. People will sign up for their schools in April. We'll have a dedicated uh, website just for people to sign up. And then they'll have the games in May with a final in June in Brampton. So people can look at the website, cmacanada.org, and from there that will take them to the correct uh, sign up page. Perfect. In now, April. Okay, so, so the deadline is then. Now, sometimes schools are apprehensive about getting involved in new sports because of equipment costs. Sure. Um, I want to know about the equipment costs when it comes to playing cricket. Uh, maybe on, on like the basic level, not Mr. Anakat's version. <laughs> sure, well, the advantage, I guess, over some sports is that you don't need a huge amount of money. Um, really, as long as you've got two bats, a ball, yeah. and some wickets, you've got You're the basics. Good. Okay. Uh, the expense will come at your kind of level, yeah, Anakat, where absolutely. you have to have all your own equipment yeah. and spares. and Quite a lot of bats as well if you're a batsman. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so not everyone is a batsman, so that's, that's no. something that... Yeah. So how do you pick out a batsman? Is well, it it's, um, for most it's like a personal uh, preference. I enjoyed batting because it gives you that thrill because when you're out in the middle, you're batting, you only have one ball that can either get you out or you can defend and you can, or you can hit a runoff. So it gives you that thrill of if I mess up this one ball, I could be out and I could be in the dressing room just watching the rest of the game. Really? So, yeah, so it gets intense like that. So people can either become a bowler where they have six balls to get a batsman out, or you can be a batsman where you have, where you're competing for that one ball, and if that one ball messes up, then you're gone. So you love pressure. In a, in a way, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. do. I yeah. would want to be a bowler because it's like super acrobat acrobatic. Like it's wild to see the bowlers actually out there. And I could imagine yeah. that I would. I would be very intimidating out there. Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big mind game, right? I mean, for the bowler against the batsman, yeah. you can see, particularly at the higher level, yeah. there's a lot of intimidation going yes. on. The bowler can try and actually hit the batsman. Yeah. And that's completely legal. And that's completely yeah. legal. <laughs> it's all legal, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so when you've been hit, do you have a personal vendetta maybe against one of the bowlers? <laughs> <laughs> well, when I get hit in practice, if I get hit, I'll be like, I'll just rub it off and I'll be like, all right, it's okay, buddy. I'll get you the next ball. <laughs> but in a game, if I get hit, that's when that's like a proper game situation. So that's when you have to be a little cautious. Try not to get your revenge right away because it could cost your wicket. So that's when you have to be a little careful and play cautiously. Okay, play cautiously, play smart. Yeah. <laughs> and then maybe choose your, your practice time as your time yep. to, to get them back. Yeah, basically. Okay. So uh, what are you doing in preparation uh, for, for Dubai? Well, we practice um, three times a week. Cricket Canada, so we travel up to Mark, uh, Scarborough every three days in a week, and we're running a lot of uh, simulations, a lot of drills, a lot of practice. So even from that, personally, we practice a lot on our own time. I personally practice with my dad and my coach and my team, my club. So I'm very like involved, and this is like one of our last shots for me because I'll be I'm 17 and I'll be 20 by the time the next World Cup happens. Okay. So it's like once in a lifetime opportunity for me, so I'm giving it up my best and like practicing almost every day. Yeah. Now, Martin, I just want to touch really quickly about our pitches in in the Peel region and how do we make sure that they stay actual 
actual cricket pitches and not soccer pitches. Yeah, well, that's the thing. One of the reasons why we organize this school's event is to make sure the pitches are always full. When the city has invested, in some cases, millions of dollars in the last few years, like Brampton, We've got to make sure the city gets its money's worth by keeping it full of kids. Okay, awesome. Well, thanks so much for coming on the show, guys. Um, congratulations to you on making it so far, but stay tuned. There's a lot more coming up on Little League Sports.